so many complicated slides. Let's make this simpler. Let's make an animation like that. And with each click, something different appears. My idea for this slide is to animate everything which is here from left side and animate everything which is here from the right side. So we have a nice visual experience. Click on the photo right away, go to animation and I would like it, yeah, I want it to fly in. I would like it to actually float in, but the float in can be only from top or bottom. So the fly in will be more appropriate. Click on it, effect options from left. It would be a bit boring like that. So I will double click. I will make the duration one second and I'll bounce it a bit at the end. Perfect. Maybe this animation is a bit too long. 075 and I can proceed to the stars. Now those stars, I believe, should be grouped. This will look better. Fly in as well from the left side with previous. Delay it a bit, make it a bit longer. And now I could decide. Effect, after animation, don't dim, bounce and well, maybe smooth end will be more appropriate here. Yeah, so currently we have an animation like that. Maybe even too slow after another, so without any delay. And in my opinion, this should take one second and this should be delayed. This will make the animation a bit more consistent and this, yeah, click on those stars animation painter or I should select alt 3 the text like that as well I will delay it a bit preview okay very simple very clean very nice for the eye and now I could proceed to the right side this should be here right from the start because this is only a title I believe that could come in right away you can see we have six text boxes and this, this middle object here. This middle object can't fly in from right side. This would look weird, but I will select it and I will split it. And that's the beauty. We can split it towards the middle or outwards the middle. Effect options, vertical out. Yeah, the outward looks pretty beautiful. Make the duration one second because I would like to enjoy the view. Yeah. And then boom, 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 boom. Those can appear together. I will consider even pressing Ctrl G, Shift click, Ctrl G, Shift click, Shift click, Ctrl G. Okay, because they can simply appear together. So I'll click on the first one. Mm, what do we want? No, a float in isn't the best, a wipe in. With the click, this should happen as well. So I'll select with previous. I will delay that and I will select options from top. Beautiful. Duration a bit longer and shift F5. What do we have? We have the left side with one click because we would like to gain some information about this person and then we proceed to the right side. This appears automatically. This could appear after a click and this could appear also after a click. Select this object, which we already have animated and it's set to with previous. Alt 3 here and Alt 3 here. But those two should appear I will select with my shift click again, both right click on click. Because I don't want all three of those boxes to appear at once. I want this line to appear and then the first, the second and the third. What do we want here? I believe we have already enough animations. So I'll group that control G, control G, control G. I will select the first one and I'll continue with my wipe animations. If there is a line, a big box or something like that, which is long, the wipe animations are perfect. 
effect options from left, this will always work. Now, if we have this Alt 3, boom, Alt 3, boom, this is it. Seven mouse clicks. That's plenty of mouse clicks, but look how much information do we have here. We could also make those three appear together because we don't need those clicks. So I'll select with previous, with previous. I'll go back to animation, I will delay it. This is just cosmetics and aesthetics and it depends on how do you want this to work. Please try to animate this on your own now and I will see you in the beautiful timeline animation. I can't wait for that because this is also something super fun when it comes to animating in PowerPoint.